share is ownership. Don't let nobody bullshit you. Kill the medallion, Bill. Kill the medallion, Bill. Now. It's about being free in this United States of America. We know tyranny when we smell it. And we are not going to take this stinking, stinking smell again. Washington, D.C. taxi driver Nathan Price keeps his cab in the basement of his Virginia apartment building. After driving into the district and picking up a few fares, he generally stops by a local hangout to meet up with other drivers. Price, who's now 68, is like almost all DC cab drivers, an owner-operator who works when he wants to. What's it mean for you to own your own cab or to be able to set your own hours as a uh, cab driver? Total freedom. Total freedom. It's, and it's nothing, nothing like it. I can go to work any time I feel like it. I can quit any time I feel like it. So I get a schedule as to what suits me. DC's cab industry is among the freest in the nation, allowing flexibility for drivers and relatively open access to thousands of immigrants who earn their livelihood driving a cab in the district. This industry was a stepping stone for free slaves before the Civil War. It was a stepping stone for immigrants from Europe at the turn of the 20th century. It took my business away from me you just took the free enterprise out of my life. That's what we're facing right now. Now Washington, D.C. is considering a bill that would require every cab in the district to have a permit known as a medallion. The city would only issue 4,000 medallions, cutting the total number of cabs by more than a third and putting thousands of drivers out of work. Kill the medallion bill! Kill the medallion bill now! A minority of cabbies who have been driving for at least five years and live in Washington, D.C. would get the medallions first. Even though I was born and raised in the district, started driving, but the past 15 years I've lived in Virginia, I get a pink slip. Price would still have a shot at getting one of those 4,000 medallions since he's been driving for more than 20 years, but only after they're first offered to cab companies, who could then turn around and rent them to drivers. They're being set up to say, you commit to renting, which means you commit to giving up a portion of your earnings, or you get out. We don't do that to anyone in any other profession. It's a scenario that's been repeated across the country. Over and over, medallion systems have pushed out individual entrepreneurs and put them to work for politically connected companies. In Prince George's County, the cab companies rent their cabs to cab drivers at $330 a week. In Montgomery County, upwards of $100 a day. They're working long hours to give more than half of their earnings to the medallion owner. Proponents of the medallion bill say putting companies in charge would benefit riders. But a 2010 study by the city's Department of Finance argued the opposite. Cities with medallions have fares that are 25% higher. When you're creating a system where the medallion owner can create artificial scarcity in service, riders are going to have less cabs available to them. These big cab companies, they will take charge of everything. The man behind the medallion proposal is Jerry Schaefer. He's a local taxi cab magnate who runs a bunch of companies that are headquartered here in the River Terrace neighborhood in Northeast Washington, D.C. Up front, he'll get a whole bunch of the medallions when they're offered for sale at $10,000 a piece. And then he'll be able to turn those into real cash by either renting the cabs out to local drivers or selling the medallions at a profit. Schaefer hired lobbyist John Ray to write the medallion bill. Ray has worked as a lawyer defending Representative Harry Thomas in an ongoing corruption suit, and it was Thomas who sponsored Ray's bill in the D.C. City Council. Another backer of the medallion bill? Councilmember Marion Barry, the former mayor best known for being caught smoking crack in a hotel room with his girlfriend. Council members Barry and Thomas, John Ray, and Jerry Schaefer all declined our requests for an interview. The last time a medallion bill was proposed, it was later withdrawn by council member Jim Graham after his chief of staff was caught by the FBI accepting a bribe from a representative of the taxi industry. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you know, I, I need it. That's yeah, why I yeah, take yeah, it. Yeah. This 
job is providing food for our families. We need to stand up and do not let them take our business away from us. In a letter published in the Washington Post, lobbyist John Ray argued that because the cab industry is open entry and unregulated, it's been susceptible to corruption. But in practice, the D.C. Taxi Commission, which currently regulates the industry, has its own history of corruption. And the commission is so wary of scrutiny that when reporter Pete Tucker snapped this photo on his cell phone at a recent public Good meeting, meeting, he was dragged out and arrested. Sir, this Last is a public chance. meeting. Last chance. Sir, this is a public meeting. Last chance. Reason TV producer Jim Epstein captured Tucker's arrest on his mobile phone. Later, Epstein was also arrested after resisting attempts by the Taxi Commission and U.S. Park Police to confiscate his camera phone. When Tucker was arrested, cab drivers stormed out of the meeting in protest. We will continue uh, to struggle for the continuation of the guarantee of our rights to earn our living. We know tyranny when we smell it. And we are not going to take this stinking, stink smell again. We don't want your medallions. We do not want your medallions. We want to be free entrepreneurs in this town, period.